This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our April 23rd Palmer City Council meeting. I'll start off with some important dates coming up. April 30th, we've got interviews for the city manager. May 7th is a transit update at the Matsu Borough Assembly meeting. Uh, May 13th, which is a Monday, we're doing our city council meeting because there's at least two high schools that have graduations on May 14th, and we want to uh, honor the those that are graduating and let their families handle things without us having to have a meeting. So I received an email inviting mayors and managers to come to the Matsu Borough uh, assembly meeting on May 7th, uh, they're planning to have a transit update. Um, the whole transit question with our designation as an urban um, urban area zone um, complicates matters for the uh, transit, which we right now we have Matsu Transit. Uh, the funding formula basically changes dramatically. So uh, they want to do an update for that, and I'm encouraging any of our council people that want to attend or to tune in and listen in about that. And probably in May, I'll be setting up a time for uh, we can have someone come and present to us because they're going to be looking for money. And so we need to have some information, have a clue of what's happening about that. So we're looking to do a joint meeting with the Planning and Zoning Commission in May or June, and I'm looking at doing that on a Thursday. Uh, normally we do it an hour ahead of our meeting, but it seems like we might have a few issues to talk with that could take over an hour or so. We'll be trying to set that up either May 16th or maybe it'll end up being June 20th. And also, um, I, I ran across, we'd asked our attorney back in 2022 to do an analysis of the scope of the relationship between the city of Palmer and the, the chamber. And I've asked her to do the same for the city of Palmer and the friends of the Palmer Public Library. There's been a lot of questions coming up about that. And I wanted her to go ahead and analyze and kind of give us the legal background and the legal status of that. And then other things coming up. Uh, we've got Who Let the Girls Out coming up here in the next weekend. That should be, uh, that's the kind of the launch of spring officially in Palmer. Should be a good, uh, a very good time down on the, in the kind of the quad area of downtown Palmer. And also then the following weekend we'll have the first weekend in May is uh, Alaska's Gather to Celebrate Aviation and plan for the upcoming flying season. So that is the Great Alaska airmen's gathering and that would be the Saturday and Sunday of the first weekend in May uh, agenda highlights of what's coming up approval of a couple meetings of minutes minutes of meetings I suppose I should say uh, we've also got a few people appearing in proclamations we have Carla Swick and company for the Soroma delegation from Japan Proclamations, we have the First National Youth Apprenticeship Week, um, also recognizing high, Colony High School student Haley Clark, and a proclamation for the National Day of Prayer, which I believe is May 2nd coming up. Also, also our fire chief wants to introduce three new Palmer Fire and Rescue full-time firefighters, Colt Graham, Colton Brickle, and Lane Reed. Uh, also, under the city attorney's report, I think she's going to do an or overview of Linkey versus Freed regarding the new U.S. Supreme Court test for elected public official social media activity. And also review this uh, look at the city of Palmer Code of Ethics and Conduct for elected officials. We then have two public hearings. Uh, Ordinance 24-002, uh, Title IV about personnel. And then a resolution 24.020 authorizing the city manager for 15000 for Wolf Architecture for the schematic redesign for the Palmer Public Library. And then under action memorandum, we've got a community council grant for Palmer Little League for a scoreboard replacement, uh, approving a council grant for Rodeo Alaska um, for Extreme Bulls Rodeo and Music Fest. Yeah, authorizing the city manager two leases extensions for ES property um, 
Oh, this is for our temporary library, the, the buildings that we're using to host our temporary library while we're working through uh, replacing our old one. And then a contract for Alaska Sure Seal for road striping and crack sealing. And then we also have an executive session about some potential property issues. So, this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our April 23rd Palmer City Council meeting.